Holy shit! So, in under a year, we've actually managed to hit 106 subs, I believe, as it stands right now. Uh, yeah. So, I thought I might as well make this video to celebrate this, and this is with my own rewind. And, no, it's not the kind of rewind that you might think it is with just a bunch of people dancing randomly, be being really cringy. I'm not fucking YouTube, okay? I'm not YouTube that do that shit. But, uh, yeah. Today we'll be kind of looking back at some highlighting, basically, highlights of this year in this rewind. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. Okay! So, Mirth Master 111 Lamborghini was created on March 1st of this year, and the first video was uploaded exactly 25 days after its creation. When that video is still up today, it's titled GTA 5 of Mr. 811 Stunt. It's, uh, it, it, it's okay, I guess. But, the, the main focus here, though, is the first series that was started on this channel. So the first video was uploaded exactly 25 days afterward, like after the channel was created. But the first video of the first series, if I actually look at this here, ah, uh, it was eight months ago. So, April 13th. So, about a month in, we'll, we'll, we'll say about a, we'll, we'll just say about a month in. Wait, yeah, okay, we'll say about a month in <laughs> that the first video of the first series on my channel, which was Podium Vehicle Reviews, uh, was uploaded. That, that's when it was uploaded. About a month after uh, my first video, and. We have seen a couple of different series like this throughout the year, and just so you guys know, I'm not just going to have GTA 5 gameplay in this one, there'll be a different games too. Alright, just going to let you guys know that right now, but, yeah, so, on top of the Podium Vehicle Reviews series, we have Lambo News that has led to a few very interesting things. And, well, not all of them are exactly the best. So, let's kind of cover that. It has been completely smashed up by an asshole tryhard. We can get to the dramas. So, the first drama of this year was regarding a dude I met on PS4 that I thought was my friend, but instead turned out to be the one of the biggest assholes of all time. His name, Aaron. And I will not leak his last name for privacy reasons, but I will, I will leak his first. But, y you know, this dude, I'm not really, it's, it's a very long situation that started in 2019, like of Christmas of 2019, because that's when I met him. But, like, if you guys want to know about the entire situation, you guys can just go watch the videos that I already made. Um, but some of them are kind of skippable, like, really, Aaron, that was a skippable one. But the whole, like, recap one, though, uh, and, like, looking back at the error situation, that's a pretty good video if you guys want the whole information and everything. Also, I put this off for too long. Um, uh, that's a really good, good one, too. Now, those ones are pretty long, though, so be sure you uh, watch those when you have some time, but <clears throat> they're still up there for whatever you want them for. But, uh, of course, the next drama is one that regards a person that I actually met on here as well this year, um, who is a good YouTuber and a good friend of mine, and CSO7, or as um, some other people like to call him, No Copyright Sounds 07. Personally, I think that's actually pretty funny. But <laughs> so, this drama didn't really even involve me that much. It was, of course, just really with NCS. And... Um, it was with a YouTuber known as Zack Pack. Basically, NCS7 uploaded a video known as Tips for Zack Pack 3, 
And Zack Pack really didn't appreciate it very much. He really didn't like it, so he made an entire stream debunking something that was supposed to help him out. And NCS 7 did not really like that too much, and the drama kind of ensued from there. So, yeah, I mean, Zack Pack kind of knew that his fan base was made up of kids, and knew that they'd probably go after him, so... That's that's why I don't believe he should have even made the video or stream or whatever it was reacting to everything because honestly that's kind of petty just especially because it's something that's supposed to help you out and now we get to the drama that is kind of an elephant in the room that everyone probably wants me to address by now for the last time I ever will okay I'm not gonna address this again the two easy LMAO situation by far the stupidest one. Because there was multiple different things that he did. The first one was the whole racism on Monica Cohen D thing, which I admit I was definitely biased in that one. Very much. And I do apologize for that, and I will never do something like that again. Okay? But on top of that, we had him milking Spaghetti, which is a pretty serious situation, and he just made a bunch of fucking memes and other bullshit out of it. So... Some something you accomplished there, I guess. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah, he made an entire goddamn Discord server dedicated to racism and being homophobic. Okay, I I'm not even gonna explain why that's stupid or morally wrong, but you guys get the idea. This guy did some stupid shit and just kept trying to deny it. It pissed me off, and it almost pushed me over the edge. So, that's the dramas for this year. Three in the first year. And again, if you're part new to this channel, I'm not really sure what you're expecting. Holy shit. But now, we can actually get some positivity. You know, something that I'd like to cover. So, let's, let's just move on. Let's move on from me freaking out! And... Not nice voice crack, but for me freaking out, and we get to some positivity. I think we need, I think we need some positivity in our lives. So, I've met a lot of really cool people this year. Um, you know, we got the whole crew like Spidey, Beetle, Mr. Sonic fan, Skull Kid, those guys on here. Um, we also got though NCS07, and the thing with NCS07 is that. He's really critical about things, so he can actually be a really good person for advice, and I really like people like that. But we also got Monica Cohen D, who is just a great friend all around. You know, they they've been nothing but kind to me ever since I talked ever since I talked to them on VC for the first time on Discord, and I have a lot of respect for friendly people, and of course, Anthony Simon is also friendly. But I've also met, uh, well, somewhat met Spaghetti, um, in VC. I've played some Warzone with him, and he's pretty chill. But, uh, also, uh, people like Monica D and N67 have given me some channel boosts this year, which is one of the main reasons why I even have as many fans as I do in one year as I do. I've gotten some shoutouts from Monica Cohen D as well as as well as NC7. And thank you to Monica Cohen D and NC7. Without you, I don't know if I would be as far as I am this year as I am right now. So thank you guys for helping me out. But uh also We've gotten a lot of videos where I've actually featured NCS7, and also some videos where I featured Monica Cohen D. And interestingly enough, I've actually my channel is the first time that Marco or Monica D was ever actually featured for any like commentary reason. He's been featured in videos before, but those were for DDLC mods. And he doesn't really talk in those, so this is the first time he was ever actually in a video to like give any kind of commentary. So I hope you enjoyed. 
Um, the times you filled with me on here, Marco, I really do I hope you appreciate it. Uh, well, I know I appreciate it. When me and my cars pull up, you better get to run. What the hell is up with these people? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there, actually. That was hilarious. I don't know, I know you guys couldn't see that message, but, uh... There's some of the random shit that people say on here. <laughs> so, yeah. Regardless, though, I really, I do appreciate you coming on here, um, to N67 and pretty much anyone else I've actually featured. I do appreciate you guys coming on here and, uh, giving commentary on, like, Lambo News and stuff like that. But also just coming on here to play, um, like, games and stuff like that. But also, I've been doing all the streaming. We started up also some other series with, uh, the all night streams, which are kind of false at the moment, not gonna lie, because. They're not really all night. I mean, they go like five, four hours, something like that on Friday. And for, the reason for that is because of my mom's work schedule. She gets up at like five o'clock in the morning, and I don't, I don't want her to find out about this channel. So, um, but I just want to let you guys know this right now. I'm planning on possibly waiting another week after this one so that we can get the schedule done. But I'm not really sure if that will be very efficient. <laughs> so... I guess I'll just, we'll just have to wait and see, but we've also been doing a lot of reaction content recently, well not really a lot of it, but some reaction content to like DDLC mods and other things like such, well actually I think it's just DDLC mods, but yeah, <laughs> I must say though, we've had a pretty eventful year, and I'd like to thank everybody that's been a member of my channel and people that enjoy my content. I hope you guys will continue to enjoy the stuff that I make. But also, if you guys see something that's kind of starting to go downhill with my channel, do not hesitate to let me know, okay? There's nothing wrong with criticism as long as it's, it will stay as criticism and not hate. So, yeah. Just let me know if you guys see something that's starting to go kind of wrong with my content. If there's something that you need to say about it, then please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments section or even by Discord DMs. Some of my videos, like um, Hypercar, like just Hypercar 1, not Hypercar 2, but um, Hypercar have my Discord server linked in the description. And just feel free to join the server. You can find, my, you can find me on there. Just feel free to send me a DM or ping me or do something on my server and let me know your concern but with that out of the way though that will be everything I need to really say for <laughs> my channel this year so far because remember Christmas is upcoming and yeah I hope you guys will enjoy the Christmas special as well because that will be releasing later today so stay tuned but anyways though uh, that's all I really gotta say um, that's my little rewind. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.